Hi, I'm Rob Atkinson, the president of ITIF. We've started a new feature this week where we ask folks to uh, tweet us uh, a question about innovation which we will uh, attempt to answer. And uh, the most interesting question we got last week was uh, from uh, a colleague in Australia who asked, can innovation uh, destroy revenue? And in other words, use the example of Skype where uh, there's less revenue in the global long distance business. Uh, but um, a major innovation through, through an application like Skype. And uh, the answer is absolutely. That is a key part of what innovation is. A lot of innovation, in fact, almost all successful innovation, if you will, is in, 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 is, uh, in, in the service of creative destruction, as Schumpeter once said. Uh, after the invention and, and deployment of cars uh, by Henry Ford and others, uh, mass-produced cheap cars, uh, the stable industry wasn't doing too well. The, the hay industry, the horseshoer industry, uh, these were all industries that lost because of the emergence of the auto industry. In fact, at one point, the, uh, there was a coalition of them that got together to uh, pass municipal laws banning the parking of cars on streets. Uh, so yes, absolutely. But this question is actually a little different in the sense of, uh, in the case of the auto industry, you saw growing revenues uh, in one sector and shrinking in another, but overall net revenues were up. The case of Skype, uh, it's a little different. Uh, even though uh, eBay purchased Skype for $3.1 billion and then later on sold it to Microsoft, uh, Skype is an innovation that ends up leading to much lower revenues. We, they've developed a system that is so efficient uh, through internet protocol using bits on, on the internet to transfer uh, video and voice uh, to other uh, users all around the world. It is so efficient and so cheap that yes, it absolutely shrinks revenue. But we have to understand that revenue is not the measure of successful innovation. It's consumer and overall economic welfare. And by that measure, Skype's a great success because consumers are just so much better being able to use this free or in some cases very, very low cost service because it's a very, very low cost technology. Uh, and again, we see the same thing um, with other technologies like uh, the iPod. Uh, after the iPod was introduced, people are able to buy one song instead of the whole album, so there's less revenue in the industry. The companies that used to make CDs, uh, a lot of them probably have gone out of business. And even the music industry itself, which used to have high revenues from the sale of entire albums uh, or CDs, now people are buying one song at a time. So there's less revenue in that business. Uh, but that again, that's good for consumers. Consumers are able to get music uh, uh, at a much cheaper price. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, yes, absolutely, uh, innovation can lower revenue, but it always improves uh, consumer welfare. Thank you.